Joanna Wickman is the manager of the La Quinta Museum and talk to me about their newest exhibits. Uh, well, this exhibit is called Old Hollywood in the Desert Club and it opens tomorrow night and the opening reception is from 5 to 7. And the exhibit sort of chronicles the history of the Desert Club, paying special attention to old Hollywood and Hollywood's connections to the Desert Club. Uh, everything from the architect, S. Charles Lee, who built a number of very famous movie theaters, the Art Deco style in Los Angeles and all of the West Coast, uh, to celebrity guests, including Kirk Douglas, Rita Hayworth, uh, Robert Mitchum, Gary Cooper. Um, and ending basically with what happened to it um, and that it's now Fritz Burns Park. But most of it focuses on the Hollywood connection. Well now, and a lot of people think of old Hollywood, they think of downtown Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And I think they forget that La Quinta was also a, a, great, a really big hub for that. They had the La Quinta Hotel. Right. And they also had the Desert Club. Right. Uh, the hotel opened in 1926 and that attracted a lot of celebrity guests including Frank Capra, Greta Garbo. Uh, and the Desert Club opened in 1937, so it opened a little bit later, uh, but it was unique in that instead of being a hotel, it was actually designed to be a timeshare. Uh, and so people who joined the Desert Club were encouraged to buy lots in the area that's now the La Quinta Cove to build a casita. And the plans for the casitas were supplied by a Hollywood architect. Right. Uh, and then whenever they weren't staying in their casita here in La Quinta, then the Desert Club would rent it out to other guests. Um, but you had to have a membership in the Desert Club in order to do that. The original timeshare, I just think it's fantastic. I mean, <laughs> I wonder if Marriott knows about this. Honestly, you know, like the Desert, you know, the desert Spring Villas and all that stuff. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is so fascinating, and it brings to life, it's just wonderful, and, and I know you've been working on this for a while, and I'm just making yes. your, little, your little baby project. Yes, so my I'm, pet project. Pet project. <laughs> I'm, I'm so thrilled for you, and we can't wait to highlight your reception, and um, so we're going to have a lot of good time, and I'm so... And so how long is this going to run for? Uh, this exhibit will actually be up through the rest of the year, so it okay. closes uh, December 31st. Okay, so you have all this time to come see it. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, and what you can learn here is just amazing. So come on down to the Quinta Museum and check out this wonderful exhibit, plus all your other ones. You have P.T. Barnum here right now. Yes, we also have uh, P.T. Barnum and the Circus, which is on display through the end of the year as well, through December 31st. And you just explained to me that it's P.T. Barnum's 200th birthday. Yeah, it was actually a July 5th, so just a couple weeks ago was uh, P.T. Barnum's 200th birthday. Wow, that's amazing. See, this, is, this is so much fun. Well, thank you so much, Joanna, for having us here. Well, thank and you. And good luck on your wonderful exhibits. Thanks. <laughs>